all, yes, you can save my soul. You can love and you can let me go. In your arms I know that I am safe. We are one, our bond will never break. There's nothing to add or take away, no greater joy, no better place. It's already been done. This next song talks about us doing our part, that, that God might open our eyes so that we can see what's happening in the nation and we can show that love of Christ in all that we do. So this is called Open My Eyes. away to a hurting world left in the shade when you open my ears I can hear the heart cries of a desperate world lost in the light
feel all the pain of a suffering world bound up in chains when you open my mouth I can speak for the poor to an unjust world push open then understand in a confused world creation's black open my mind Fantastic. Mulla on tässä vieraana tällainen mun oikein oikein vanha ystäväni, David Lyle Morris, joka, joka tota, äm, tulee itse asiassa hyvin, hyvin kaukaa. Me ollaan niin Suomessa täällä yhdessä maan kol- maailmankolkassa. David Lyle Morris tulee uudesta Seelannista, eli ihan toisesta, toisesta puolelta maailmaa. Who is David Lyle Morris? He's a um, kind of crazy, crazy Kiwi guy. I knew that already. <laughs> who um, loves to sing. Actually, probably got a singing from his Welsh roots. My grandfather on the Morris side was a Welshman. I never met him, but uh, they're famous for singing in Wales, and I'm, I'm sure the singing comes from, from that side. But then I'm Scottish on my mother's side, um, and so, so yeah, that's a, that's a part of who I am. And then I was, um, I was a military kid, So uh, traveled very much as a young young guy, and um, not not from a Christian family, but I think the military upbringing really gave me a passion for mission type work that I really enjoy, you know, traveling to different cultures and and um, mixing with different people, and um, and then uh, Finland came on the radar, which is was a real surprise, but it's been a wonderful wonderful blessing. Yeah, what what happened? I mean, who? How did you even know that there was a country called Finland? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I um I met a I met a young Finnish girl when I was seven, living in Finland, uh, living in Fiji. Sorry, um, so that was my first taste of Finnish culture, and and uh, there was something very special about that. And then of course we both countries had these wonderful runners in the 60s and 70s, and so that was another connection where you think why why are, why New Zealand and Finland why would they be good at running, and what is it about our cultures that are similar, and. Uh, in time, I suppose, I've found that there are similarities. Maybe it's this thing of being a small country on the end of the world and having to fight for a place in the world. I suppose that's, that's something we have in common. So, yeah, so these are some of the things that I started to realise that were special about our two countries. But I, um, the first time I met you um, was like, is it like 20 years ago, pretty yeah, much? Nearly, or nearly, nearly 10 years ago. Years ago. Yeah. Uh, that was in Kankampa. That's right. So not, that's not even Helsinki. What no. got you? What got you to Kankampa? Yes. Well, we we came as part of the Graham Kendrick band originally. Mm-hmm. Uh, on Graham, Graham Kendrick. Graham Kendrick from okay. England. Yeah. And he is. He's a worship leader, okay. worship writer, and we'd been invited by Jussi Miettinen and uh, Gonzalaitis, and so. You pronounced that really well. <laughs> well, yeah, <laughs> um, and so that was that was our first experience, and we we we'd come to really encourage uh, the young young Lutherans in worship. 
and uh, had to Alavus first time and then Kankampa the second time and it really something had happened it really worked I think um, Graham's band was uh, was half half black too which I think made made it quite exotic you know mm -hmm. for the Finns um, mainly from Jamaican backgrounds those musicians and they brought a lot of passion and color reggae styles and black gospel styles and I think I think it was just helping young Finns to see that worship could be fun could could be um, could be something vibrant and colourful, and so, so that was a great experience, really, really great experience. And then, and then I was asked to continue to build on um, that that experience, and so I, I started to come more regularly after that. Okay, so pretty much, almost on a yearly basis now. That's right. Yeah, and obviously I used to live in London, so it was much easier to come, um, and I could come more often. But I've been back in New Zealand for 11 years, but I still come every year. Mm -hmm. And I think just just because of these quality friendships that have been built up um, with with yourself and and Yossi and and other people, it means that you really can you can really build. I think God's so much about relationship and friendship, and and when you have that depth of friendship, then you can build build with that. So I've really enjoyed um, to continue coming. And um, you're right. I, I started mainly singing in the smaller towns, so I went uh, you know to the east and uh, to you know. Um, La Penranta and places like that, and then I've been up to Oulu, and then I've been he here on the on the west side, um, places like Rauma, and and so it was very much the small towns in the early years, and then but in recent times I've been more Helsinki based, and that's been fun to get to know the city and to do some more um, to to mix wider in the churches. So it was mainly Lutheran work at first, but now it's wider, the wider church scene. So so you've it's it's been uh, the, the the live performance thing very yes. much, but now also yeah. recently, there's been another kind of cooperation going on. Um, yeah, that's like re the recent year, pretty much. That's right. Yeah, I've made a um, very special friendship with Anders uh, Liljestrom mm -hmm. and uh, Markus Vaniomaki, okay. and uh, we got to know each other through Urban Dream, playing playing in the mission in Helsinki, and then uh, yeah, we we just become friends, and we we started writing together. And then we've produced a CD together called Endlessly, and this has been a real treat for me because it's uh, kind of a returning to my roots um, in terms of singer-songwriter and troubadour and um, even you know some blues stuff. And so it's been been wonderful because I've I've been involved in worship for many years, but I also love to do this sort of concert stuff. And yeah, so they've <laughs> they, they've um, given me the opportunity to do that again, and it's so nice to work together. out of our deep distress and still the seething storm to a whisper raging waves of the sea are hushed drawn to our desired haven drowning stone and holding course though we're battered and torn and keep our heads with all around our losing this 
through gloom, darkness, a beacon is clear. Drawn to our desired haven, drowning people all need saving. Desperate for a love unfailing, for the seas are calm when the storm is gone. Wander hopeless in desert wastelands we'll Find no place where to rest our heads Hungry, thirsty, our very lives ever away Led to water our hearts are fed Gone. Yes, the seas are calm when the storm is gone. Yeah. I'm gone. We sit in darkness deep in our dungeon. Helpless prisoners suffering in chains Crying out, bring captives in your train Locks break open free once again Are you ready for some gospel blues? Yeah? We have a very special guest on guitar. You're going to love him on these next two songs. Please welcome Teemu Viinikainen. And this first one's called The Well of Life. Yeah, 
shall face clean now. Forgiveness will flow at the well. Well, I'm life. Cool your frustration. Redemption is found at the well. Well, I'm life. Grace overwhelming. Mercy unending. Love ever after. Favor of Christ. Endless salvation. Ceaseless attraction. Sense of elation. Flavor. Wie nicht einen. Three things I need the most Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Two more to guide me on Love and grace like a warm embrace And still one thing that I ask Is for a mercy that will last Over all God rules Over all God rules You might not like the news Over all our God rules
That's how Jesus. Yeah. David, David Lyle Morris on, on tällainen, mä sanoisin jo su, puoleksi, puoleksi suomalainen monella tavalla, niin, niin paljon käynyt Suomessa ja, ja niin kuin mentaliteetiltä sellainen uh, hyvin jotenkin Suomeen, Suomeen sopiva ja sopeutuva ihminen ja, tota, ja, ja ihminen, joka, joka todella niin kuin rakastaa Suomea ja, ja, mm. ja on tehnyt siis paljon täällä töitä, niin kuin, niin kuin keikkoja erilaisia, erilaisissa kristit, kristillisissä yhteyksissä ja, ja tota, ehkä alkujaan sille enemmän luterilaisissa piireessä, mutta nyt, nyt monissa eri kirkkokunnissa. Ja, tota, ja tämän viimeisen vuoden aikana siis, niin, niin on sitten tullut tällainen ää, studioyhteistyö sitten myöskin, että ää, tällainen tuottaja kuin Markus Vainiomäki ja sitten ää, siinä mukana Anders Liljeström tuotusti, niin Helsingistä Pitäjämäeltä, niin tota, heidän kanssa sitten ollaan työstetty tällainen levy, jonka nimi on Endlessly. Ja tämä on, Davidille, joka on tehnyt viime vuosina paljon tällaista niin kuin ylistysmusiikkia ja johtanut ylistystä, niin, niin tavallaan tämä on sellainen niin kuin paluu takaisin juurille sit sellaiseen niin kuin enemmän singer-songwriter-tyyppiseen niin kuin esitykseen, mikä on sitten ehkä se, mistä hän on alkujaan taas sitten lähtöisin. Mutta et, mä, mä tiedän, kun mä tunnen Davidin, niin mä tiedän, että hänen, hän on sellainen Jeesus-tyyppi, että se, niin kuin, se on se, mitä, mitä hän haluaa, mitä hän sitten tekeekin, niin haluaa. But what is the motivation behind your your work, behind your career, behind your life? Mm. Could you just just sum up that once again? Yeah, it's a very very challenging to to put into words because I think I'm very much a a feeling person, um, not so much of a thinker maybe if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose I, I'm I'm fortunate the the way I've been brought up. Um, like living in Fiji when I was a small kid, for example, it made me realize that it's okay to be a feeler and, and not so much of a thinker, because when you're in a Pacific culture, mm -hmm. they're not so worried about what, what you think, they're more interested about how you feel, how you express, how, expre how you express your love for God and, and for people. And so I think I've very, I've often said that I feel like I'm black on the, in I might be white on the outside, but I'm black on the inside, that, that, that simplicity of life. So I think, um, So I think sometimes, sometimes in, our, in our Western cultures, we just we, we the, the mind kind of ties us in knots, and we get so caught up in thinking about our faith and and, argue, and arguing about faith. But but I think you know my picture of Jesus is that he he wants us to have that childlike faith. We're we're not so questioning, but we just trust we just trust him, and we 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 learn to feel feel his love for people, and we learn to. Um, understand his spirit. I think you know. Again, in in a lot of um, a lot of more primitive cultures, they understand about the spirit, the spirit world, and that there's a very natural connection with with spiritual things. And so, I suppose that's my passion: is to is to try and to simplify our faith, and then to to. Exp I think music's a wonderful gift to express that simplicity, but also that depth of the spirit of our faith. And so that I suppose that's a big heart, heartbeat for me. But I, I find it hard to even explain because because it is so much of a heart thing and it's so much of a feeling thing. Um, so it's it's I think it's that's a blessing for me in Finland is that often we we seem to be able to connect together even when when language could be a barrier. That somehow the language of the spirit um, means we can connect deeply, and music gives us that. Um, platform, if you like, to connect in a, in a spiritual way. And also, I feel, I mean, knowing you obviously, but also like seeing you on stage, that on the level of the soul, also level of, of chemistry between people, that you really, it is easy to connect. I mean, you are very accessible, and it's very easy to connect with you. Oh, thanks. Well, I, I, I feel, um, I still feel quite an amateur in, in all of this because, you know, my back, as I said, my background, I'm not Christian by background. And, and then I'm not really musical by background, and, and you know, in the sense of professional music, um, I haven't studied music or, or so, so. Who has? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I work with I work with musicians who, who even in our band, we've had, we had uh, Antti Kokola, and he's studied at Sibelius, you know. So you kind of go, wow, like you know, but um, but it's uh, it's 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 just a blessing to be able to yeah to connect connect even um, across those cultural or, or language barriers because of Jesus' spirit, because his, 
he, he just has that ability to connect with, with everyone, you know, on every level, whether they be rich or poor or um, Lutheran or Pentecostal or black or white. And um, so I think, I think he, he's, kept me, he's kept me so humble because I know I'm, no, I'm not a professional. I'm not, I haven't studied theology and I haven't studied music. So I know I'm not a professional, but all I know is that I know him in part. And, and, and he just wants me to share what I, something of what I know, but also to really be open to receive what others have. For example, in the, in the concert yesterday, which we, we, you will we'll see on the, on the footage, um, there was a lady in a wheelchair. And when, when we, we sang one worship song and she was the one person in the audience with her hand up. Oh, and to me, okay. yeah, that to me just says it all. The one person who can move the least in the whole audience is the person who raises her hand. I mean, yeah. that, that, that to me just makes my work worthwhile. I mean, it's so touching to me. And it's often the person who, who seems that they could give the least gives the most, you know? And that's, that's just faith. That's, that's, that's the Christian faith. You know, like the story of the, the old lady who gives, gives her last coin, <laughs> you know, and, and the rich give some a few of their coins, you yeah. know, but she goes, gives her last coin and Jesus goes, you know, that's, that's faith, you know, and so that's the joy for me in, in my work is just is those moments. And I feel so humbled because I know she's giving more than I am. Um, and um, so it inspires me to try and try and give more. Obviously to, to take, I mean, to somehow have a part of, of your life in Christ, because that, that humility and, and whatever knowing that we actually know in part yeah, only, that's that, right. um, the beauty of that comes across and then we are the one who are benefiting from that. So, yeah. so we're the lucky ones. And also, I mean, that, that flows, flows back um, to you, Nina, as well, because <laughs> yesterday I, 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 I watched uh, Yuha Tapio, which I always find very touching. I'm just so, because I knew him as a young guy when he was coming up in the gospel scene and in Rutila, and um, it's just wonderful to see how God's used him to speak to the nation, you know, and so, so I, I was very touched watching him. And then, and then I watched your set and I was very touched because he, you, you are singing the words from a, from a lady of 104, you know, who's lived such a faith, you know, for so long. And even though I don't understand all the words, that just the spirit of what she says touches me so deeply. You know, someone was giving me a little bit of translation during your set and just, it's just so powerful to see that, 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 old words can still connect into this modern world and, and I, I feel we very much need to be listening to our elders mm -hmm. in these days because we, we're really facing tough times but it's often those, those saints who have lived it longer than us who've got so much to say for how we're going to survive yeah. these testing times and so, so congratulations to everyone who's worked on your project you know, to bring, bring these songs to life, to um, another generation. And, and Marcus Vainiamaki, he's worked on that project too. Right, right. And so it's great to see a guy, I think he's about 30, who has a gift to embrace maybe some of the, the ancient and bring it into the modern. You know, I think God loves that. The fact that he, that, you know, he's the, he's the God of the Bible and of ancient times and he's the God of now, that he, he wants to say something in this day. It's, a, it's exciting to feel that we're part of history, but, but we're, we're also making history. It's a, it's, a, it's a privilege, real privilege. It's worth flying 30 hours to be here <laughs> and to play, play with these musicians and to be with you. What a great night. And here's a song that uh, makes me think of Christchurch. Who's heard of Christchurch, the city in New Zealand? Some of you know we had a big earthquake there last year and it's been a really difficult time and the city centre is still closed, still closed 18 months later. So we need to keep praying for the people of Christchurch and the people of Japan of course. But this song speaks about the hope of God, the hope of God coming in those difficult circumstances and it's called When Love Lies Broken. Lies 
splintered fragments on the floor lovingly gather scattered pieces our shattered hearts restore and pour oil to gaping wounds sweet peace where we're torn apart and breathe life to bone dry spirits bring balm to battered hearts and there's a hope in the face of despair there's a light in the depth of night oh, oh. there's a future when all is destroyed there is faithfulness where trust betrayed be comfort to confuse feelings set fractious minds at rest speak forgiveness to our every woe and save us from all our foes and there's a hope in the face of despair there's a light in the death of night oh, oh. there's a future when all is destroyed there is Yeah, you could say, yeah, how about, how about a couple of uh, words or phrases to finish? Yeah, yeah. What can you say? Yeah, um, uh, buy money on Scotland Linen. All right. Yeah. And then they say on Liz. Yeah. Hey, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, I love, to, I love to talk about my wife because I, 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 I couldn't be here unless she supported me. And um, so, so grateful for her. And she's, she's been here sometimes and really understands why God asks us to come, that there's a special ministry for us here. But there's always a sacrifice for the family, especially when they can't come. So, so I say thank, thank you, Lord, for my wife and my, my two boys. And um, family, family is such a blessing. It's so, so, so much God's heart for us to, to, um, to, to have family and to, to love our family, be loved by our family. And so I wish they were here this time, but maybe we can bring them another time.
though I'm alone, I'm not feeling lonely. And straight to the bone, your love has cut me. The water is wide, I can hear it calling. I'm taking a dive. Into arms of healing Endlessly in your arms I could stay right here Your love is unfailing Your love is unfailing Kiitos. Jumalan sinänsä. Kiitos.